boys, it's your guy one now out there, everybody. This is Speed Boy 14 on my playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. Actually, for the finale of my playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. I'm, I'm excited about it, but at the same time, I'm kind of sad about it, because this is it. It's the last one. It's the last Super Mario Odyssey video. It's the, la it's the last video of my Super Mario Odyssey playthrough. It's been a lot of fun to do. I've really enjoyed this playthrough a lot. If you guys give me a favor for the finale and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. A exciting feature of the channel, like I said, you can request your favorite um, power mode or your favorite kingdom in the game in the comments below. Also, let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. What is the hardest Mario level you've ever played in any Mario game? And what was your favorite moment of the playthrough? I'd, I'd really love to know. So, we're going to be playing the darker side of the moon. What the darker side is, is like this game's version of the crown level. Kind of like you had Grandmaster Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. The crown level in Super Mario 3D Land. And Champions Road in Super Mario 3D World. It's a level you have to play with precision and perfection and stuff like that. I'm pretty good at this level, so I'll probably make it look pretty easy. But if you're playing it on your first time, it's very difficult. I will have to say that. Because it is like the most difficult kingdom in the game. I'm excited about it because it is a lot of fun to play. And since it is one of the, the probably the most difficult challenge in the game, which is something good, but... Because I'm not going to lie, this game is a cakewalk. Like, it's super easy, of course. Although I did have some fails here and there in this playthrough, but they were never like, let's say, rage-inducing. Let's unlock the darker side of the moon. Odyssey is powered up and we have 500 moons. Excuse me. Time for the final challenge of this entire game. I've been waiting for this one. Um. Like, seriously, this this game's really easy, I know. There's a lot of exploration in this game, and there's a lot to do in this game, but when it comes to challenge, it's kind of lacking. Um, Alright. Danger ahead, beware. Okay. The screenshot I just took will be our thumbnail for the video. Look at this. We have Mayor Pauline right here. And we have the band right there. <clears throat> Let's use the frog. Alright, so basically, you yeah, use these frogs, you use motion control jumps, so you can jump higher. And then, go inside this pipe, and then when you're in this area, the gravity will be back to normal. Hey, we're heavy again. I know lots of really good tricks in this kingdom. So you can do your long jump right there. At least this is nowhere near as hard as like Grandmaster Galaxy from Galaxy 2 or um, Champions Road from 30 World. And I don't even think the crown level from 30 Land. Maybe. Here, just use your long jumps. This part, not too difficult, but you just have to use your long jumps right here to do this part. 
Here's where you can actually get a heart if you did previously get hit. You just have to time these jumps right with the spike bars. If you know the pattern of these, you can actually time it just right. And it's very, very simple. You just... Ow! Are you kidding me? Okay. You gotta be kidding me. We get to use up roads here. Are you kidding me? How did I die on this? I thought I was a pro. Thankfully, it's early on in the level, so it's okay. Alright. I've really enjoyed this playthrough a lot. It's been a lot of fun to do. I will never forget the memories I had with this playthrough. Champions Road my first try and I got lucky and Champions Road's way harder than this level. Honestly 30 World is a much more difficult getting than this game. careful right here. I'm just going to go slow. I'm just going to be careful. Although there's certain parts you have to go quick and you can't really hesitate. Uh, okay. There we go. That's pretty much an easy way to do that part right there. You can just do what I just did. water to rise and then just roll. Use some motion use some motion control rolling right there. Okay. This is a really fun part right here. We get to use Yoshi. And we get to hang on the sides of the walls. It's really awesome. There we go. Here, I recommend that you talk to the. When, at this part, when I, I recommend that you talk to the Sphinx and answer the riddle for the Sphinx. Actually, I have a better idea for a screen for the thumbnail of the video. Let's use this screenshot as a thumbnail, because that will work even better than the other. Because the other screenshot looks kind of lame, so let's just use this screenshot instead. So. Let's talk. I recommend talking to the Sphinx and answer the riddle for the Sphinx. Um, and because if you answer the riddle for the Sphinx, you can get you can actually get um,
If you answer the riddle for the things, you'll actually get a double HP. The answer is Mushroom Kingdom. That's a breezy to remember. Alright, this part, there's a shortcut you can do right here. If you ground pound and then throw your hat, you'll throw your hat towards the ground. And then after you throw your hat towards the ground, once the hat gets about like right here in front of this scarecrow right there, that's when you should that's when you shake the controller. Or you can just rapidly shake it right after you throw. And then you'll ride that up, and then you'll get up here. Long jump from here to there. Possess a glide on. And then you want to fly to this first whirlwind. As soon as you hit the whirlwind, flick your controller forward and then start shaking. To you shake the controller to glide, to hold the glide where you're at. Otherwise, you'll start gliding downwards. So. And don't turn too sharply. And then you'll skip the hardest part of the game. And there we go. And now we're in a fun part when we get to where we get to use Bowser to open up that. All right. Oh my gosh. There we go. We know this video wouldn't be too long. Now let's drop down here. And then there's some coins we can collect here. All right, there we go. If you throw your hat on the scarecrow, you get the thank you letters right there. All right. Now we possess one of the frogs. After going through that difficult challenge, you'll get to use the frog to climb up to the multi moon. We've came a we we've come a long way, you and me. We've seen a bunch of different kingdoms. I mean, sure, we got shot down and stuff along the way. But think of all the hats. Now we shake the controller to climb this. Of all times I've died on this kingdom, I've died on it the most. Just want you know. Just want you to know. This trip really was amazing. Thank you. Mario, it's been an honor walking a mile on your head. And let's collect the last multi moon of the game!
We are done with this playthrough. <laughs> We're done with the game. It's been a lot of fun to do. I will never forget the memories I had with this playthrough. You got the invi you got the invisibility hat, which is not a hat I use because I'm switching back into regular. Excuse me, I'm switching back into the king's crown and king's outfit now. All right, let's spend the moons on the Odyssey, and that will make it 503 moons. Cause that's the amount we collected throughout the playthrough. There's a thousand, there's like 999 moons to collect in the game. One they say that though, heck no, we're not doing that. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside to be notified every time my new videos come out. And let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite moment of this playthrough if you had one. Was it due to a fail? Was it due to a joke about anything? Was it due to a conversation I was talking about? Or what was it due to? I would love to know. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedboy.